Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna review a tablet oscilloscope from FNIRC. So we're gonna have a look at the device, how it works, what sort of functions it provides. And after this video, I'm gonna make more videos about application of this oscilloscope on cars because we're gonna know if this oscilloscope is any good for diagnosing automotive as well or not. Let's unpack the oscilloscope when you buy it you're gonna actually get it in this pack user manual here as you see this is the device itself four in one multifunction tablet oscilloscope this is the device itself and this is the model dpos 350p from my point of view the size of this device is very good it's not too big it's not too small at the back we have a fan right here for cooling down the oscilloscope there is one nice stand right here that you can use it actually for placing the device anywhere so as you see at the top we have channel one and channel two because this device is a two channel oscilloscope and this is for the pulse generator very cool design as you see when you turn it on you're gonna have this nice light on the side it provides a full touch screen so you have all the options for setting up the waveform that you're gonna get so we're gonna go on the car to try this one on the car generally to see how this one works and of course after this video i'm gonna make more videos using this oscilloscope on other systems and other components to see how good this oscilloscope is for diagnosing automotive so this is the oscilloscope itself for the signal generator you can find it from here so you can actually select different type of signals that you want to generate we can use this one as a sensor simulator to simulate the sensors output signal for diagnosing the wiring and control modules so i'm going to try this one on some videos as well in the pack we also have the props this is for the signal generator so this probe is going to go actually right there in case that you are using the signal generator function or you have the oscilloscope props here. So very easy to set up. So oscilloscope prop is gonna go right there in case that you are using channel one or channel two, you can just plug in the oscilloscope prop like this. On the other end of this one, you have this prop to catch the signal and this is gonna go on a good ground. On the prop itself, as you see, we have one X or 10 X attenuation so it means if you are checking something like some circuits with high voltage to protect your oscilloscope to actually control the amount of voltage that you are providing to the oscilloscope you can provide the attenuation from here 1x or 10x 10x is going to minimize the voltage 10 times so if you put this one on the 10x you need to adjust it from here for example on channel one if you click on here you have the attenuation 1x 10x and 100x based on the attenuator that you are using we have 1x and 10x on this prop and if you want 100x you can just buy this one as well this is the high voltage prop which is going to provide 100 to 1 attenuation for you So we are here right now, I'm going to show you very quickly how to use and set up this oscilloscope. Of course this video is going to be for the introduction, but as I said, we're going to make many more videos using this oscilloscope for all functions. So before starting, if you guys haven't subscribed the channel yet, please don't forget to subscribe to get the notification when we upload new videos. And for supporting us, you can like the video and share it with your friends. And for this oscilloscope, if you are interested to learn more, you can find the link in the video description or the first comment down below. So for showing you how this one works, I'm going to try it on the camshaft position sensor, but I will make a full video for the camshaft position sensor later on. So on here, on this engine, I have the camshaft position sensor right there. I'm going to use a back prop to back prop the signal. 
So on the oscilloscope, I'm using channel one. And as I said, using this one, you can grab the signal wire. And this is for a good ground. I'm gonna start the engine and then we read the waveform. We're getting a waveform, it's not really clear for us. Right here at the top, this A is for auto mode. So you can click on that one and wait a few seconds. So auto set is working. So right now we are getting very nice waveform. So oscilloscope already adjusted the waveform for us automatically. If you want to adjust it manually, you can adjust the voltage from here and time from there. So by using this one, you can have shorter waveform or taller waveform. And using this one, you can adjust the time for having more number of waveforms or less number of waveforms. This is exactly a really good view for us. For the trigger, you can use this section for auto single or normal rising edge falling edge between the channel one and channel two you can adjust and you can adjust the trigger level from here as well i'm going to make videos about all of them later on i don't want to make this video too long so you can save the waveform from here or you can just pause it from this section waveform is paused i'm going to stop the engine then we can read it on this waveform when we get the waveform in addition to check for any abnormality we can actually check the voltage range even right now here down here i have some measurements maximum voltage and the minimum voltage mentioned in here but i can actually use this cursor at the top i have the vertical cursor and horizontal one if i go for the horizontal cursor i can adjust this to cursor v1 and this one is v2 i can just move it up just like this and then you can read the minimum and maximum voltage right the v1 which is the top one is 4.63 and the v2 down there is almost zero you can use the zoom function as well to zoom the waveform and move it all the way across the waveform that you are getting to have a better view i'm gonna keep this video short this is actually how you can use the oscilloscope function on this oscilloscope please don't forget to have the channel is subscribed so you can actually get the notification when we upload new videos thank you very much guys for your attention